All right, let's continue this. So... Oh, this is a side quest. Hey there. Are you all right now, ma'am? <gasps> oh, it's you. You really saved my skin back there, you know. I'll have to think of some way of paying you back. Oh, there's no need for anything like that. I won't hear of it. Imagine a debt like that left unsettled. But what to give you? <gasps> Hold on. You're a sailor, aren't you? Uh, I am. Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> well, you could hardly be anything else, dear. Right, come along with me. I've got something to show you. What do you got, old lady? What are you giving me? What you got? Here you go. A little boat to say thank you. A boat? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. It's too much. Nonsense. I want you to have it. I don't get much use out of it at my age anyway. And besides, the old girl would prefer to have a handsome young fellow like you at the helm, I'm sure. <laughs> You're right about her being old. But she's in great condition from what I can see. She's wonderful, isn't she? And sturdy as anything, too, I can promise you that. Not ocean-going sturdy, perhaps, but fine as long as you don't stray too far from shore. What say you hop on board and give her a whirl? All right, you've convinced me. <laughs> don't mind if I do? <laughs> That's the spirit. Who knows what awaits over the horizon, eh? Or who you might meet. So any of the destinations you can choose to use on Olympic functionality while this is not necessary, especially taking all in while yield slightly better results. We like to use on my fish please don't use anything with your character's name will be sure when you want my sure. Why not? Okay then. I don't know if I quite understand what just happened, but Well, how did the old girl treat you? Oh I see. We went on she a feels like boat a dream. Trip. Which is why I can't accept your offer. She's too good to just give away. You can't? Hmm. Fine. If it makes you feel better. How about I lend her to you instead? I'll look after her, and you give me a shout whenever you want to take her out. Just come and find me and say the word. It's really no trouble, dear. Well, uh, I guess that will work. Thanks. Right, then. I suppose I'd better be heading back to town. Okay, ma'am. Oh, try to steer clear of any monsters this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Crazy old woman. Pretty stone. Small experience or Want JP orb. And a booster button. Uh, earn your orbs when you're not playing. As it's a feature which works specifically when this system is in sleep mode. You can discover experience with your treasures enough for 
crafting that you're gonna get a helping hand from others and even greater rewards. Hmm. Can I do it now and then just peace out? Or is it like you have to have the menu open? you have to leave the menu open or something. I think that's how that works. Um, okay. No, oh, just wait. Let me check if there's any more quests. No. that I can sell. I save all the just damage to all enemies. Devil's Delight, who uses to lure demon monsters into continuous battles. Say so what now? Quad monsters into continuous battles. Huh. <laughs> yeah, if I need this stuff, I'll farm for it. It's free money right now. Uh, free. Equipped. I'll give you a second one. Definitely giving you the headband. Padded armor seems to be the best. I feel like giving everyone a star pendant because it gives you 500 health. So, like. Give them the clothespin, excuse them speed. She's gonna be white mage, black mage. See, they don't get much equip stuff. Looks like I feel like I should have them equipped with two staffs. But I can't. Hmm. Headbands. You that. I feel like maybe I should give him a shield.
give him an axe. She needs a wizard rod. Oops, I'm gonna equip it. Uh, Okay, so I want this one for her, and this one for her. Buy headbands? You can't. I'm gonna have to go find a bunch of them. Son of a bitch. Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna be playing games with Rob, so. Yeah, well, you have to keep quiet. That makes them overloaded, that's why. I see. I'll just buy it and equip it out to him after then. Um. Ooh, that increases MP. There we go. Hello? Hi. Um... Shields... Yes. There. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
guess that's all I can cook for now. to thank you all once again for rescuing me and since you went to such great lengths on my behalf I feel it is only right that I introduce myself and my situation properly my name is Gloria I am or at least was the princess of Musa it has long been the duty of those of my line to see that the four crystals are kept safe in order that the calamity known as the Knights Nexus might be kept at bay Unfortunately, the crystals were stolen, and three, those of fire, water, and earth, remain unrecovered. Various disturbances across the land would seem to suggest that the calamity grows closer with each passing day. You mean like the flooding people have been talking about? And the waves that sank my boat? Precisely. I believe it is only a matter of time before the Knight's Nexus is unleashed. And the only way to prevent this from happening is to restore the crystals to their rightful place. This being so, dear friends, might we importune upon you to aid us in their recovery? Sir Sloan, we cannot presume to expect the help of others in matters that it is Musa's duty to resolve. Though I apprehend thy reluctance full well, my lady, tis plain that if we are to fulfill our duty, we shall be in need of allies. Capable allies. Our recent travails could not have given clearer proof of that. And what allies could be more capable than those who can count among their number one blessed by the very crystals we seek? Even so, we cannot simply assume that they will be willing to become entangled in our affairs. <laughs> I'd say we're pretty wrapped up in them already, wouldn't you? May we take this to mean that we can count upon thine aid? Well, it's not like there's any place else I need to be. And besides... Is what the matter, boy? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> You're not believing us behind either. Two may be company, but crowd's just what I need right now. Gaul, don't say you're getting bored of me, Elvis. Ah! As if I'd ever even think something like that. <clears throat> hey, seriously, though. With a good reason to be coming along for the ride. Those last asterisks we got our hands on helped me read a little more of Lady Emma's old book. And from what Sir Sloan was saying, it sounds like our crystal thieves all have asterisks of their own. So, if we join you on your little adventure, I reckon my favourite special stones will be falling into our laps left and right. And you'll also have our expert hell to call on. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> well, far be it from me to contradict the man who pays my wages. As long as we keep moving, I'm happy. Aye. Uh, remind me why that is again? I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared from our village. And I don't really have any idea where she might be. And I need to earn a living if I want to keep searching. So sticking with you is my best option for now. Oh, aye, aye, aye. That was it, eh? Right. Well, here's hoping we find her soon. Thanks. Twould seem that we are all of the same mind. What thinkest thou, milady? Hmm. Very well. Your kindness is greatly appreciated. I would be honored if you were all to join us. All right, eh? Oh, no, that's settled. Let's head to the tavern and seal the deal over a wee drinky, shall we? You really love the tavern, huh? And what exactly is wrong with that, eh? 
A quest begun without a little send-off ceremonies. No quest at all, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Sleep escapeth thee too, I see. Huh? Oh, hi there, Sir Slum. I had hoped that I might have a chance to speak with thee. Tis mostly of matters long since past, but... Wouldst thou be so good as to humor an old man? I too was once favored with the blessing of the Wind Crystal. To think that half a century has passed since that day. Wait, you were? Indeed. And having been so favored, I did set out with a band of stalwart companions in search of a means by which the Knight's Nexus might be defeated. One among whom was King Godric, Princess Gloria's own grandfather. I shall never forget the experiences we shared. Not as long as I live. Hither and yon we journeyed, righting wrongs and vanquishing injustice. In time, we came to be known as the Heroes of Light. Ah, such fond memories. So you were a Hero of Light? Didn't you call me the same thing? Indeed I did. <laughs> Thou didst jolt me most jarringly back into my past, boy. I must admit, to think that it has been 50 years, and that now, after all this time, the blessing of the Wind Crystal should fall upon one such as thee. It pleases me more than words can say. Thou art mine heir. Thou art the one the crystal hath chosen to take my place. This being so, I must ask that thou swear by thy life to protect Princess Gloria, as I myself once swore to protect all those of her line. Of course. Then it is settled. Now, away with thee to bed. We rise with the dawn. Morning. Good morning. Greetings, one and all. <sighs> How do you all look so fresh this early? Ah, good morrow. Uh, Milady, ere we depart, there is something I would present unto thee. Though it paineth me to think of it, there may come a time where thou must needs protect thyself. May this blade serve thee in thy time of need. Well, it is time to set out for our next destination, Savalon. If our suspicions are correct, the water crystal awaits us there.
<clears throat> now I have side quests available. Uh-oh. I'm coming, sorry. Uh, this is just terrible. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I know, pal, I know. But I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Oh, what difference does it make? I just don't care anymore. Aye, well, you'll care in the morning if you carry on like this. I tell you what, why don't I help you polish off that little lot in front of you? A problem shared is a problem halved after all. Wait, how exactly is this going to solve anything? What do you mean? It's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't drink so much that he ends up regretting it. And I drink just enough to have a grand old time. Everyone's a winner. Uh... Okay, so who is this guy anyway? A, a friend of yours? Not really, no. I, I just ran into him in here and I thought I'd better not leave him by himself. Uh oh, watch out. Do, do you want to hear a story that will make your hair stand on it, boy? Uh, sure. If you think you can manage to tell it. My luck is just terrible. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> First of all, the water's starting to rise, and that messed all the tides up. And that meant that the fish moved, which meant there were none to be had in my usual fishing spot. You'd think that was bad enough, but things got <coughs> worse. I was making my way home empty-handed when I was attacked by a snagger. Is it a haver? Sahagin. Obviously, I ran for my life. But I was so panicked <laughs> that I dropped my precious knife. <laughs> it's a very special knife. See, my master gave it to me when I became a fully <laughs> fledged fisherman. A gift from your master, eh? Then we have to get it back for you. Hey, don't worry, pal. I'm on it. No, no, I can't ask you to do that. That horrible monster carried it off and... Seriously, pal, don't worry about it. We can handle a Sahagin or two. But... Look, this knife, your master gave it to you, right? It means a lot to you. And if it makes you feel better, I'll not be doing this for free. You can buy me a dram or two to say thanks. How about that? <laughs> well, yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Anything for a drink, huh? Well, I don't know what a Sahagin is, but I guess I get to go fight some. Um, where's this other quest? One boy squat lately, so I'm keeps holding it off. He probably so just keep the town, and I trust him, I really do, but I still worry. Find him and tell him to hurry back to his old mother. Search the town for the boy. Okay, yeah, that's simple sure enough.
Alright, let's go find out what the fuck a Sahagin is, I guess. Ah, Dag and Selena deserted me! Pathetic cowards. Not only did they fail to secure the crystal, they did not even have the decency to come and tell me as much. <sighs> One simply cannot rely on mercenaries. The Horogradders went to great lengths to have me made Prime Minister. I dread to think what will become of me should I fail to keep my side of the bargain by bringing them the crystal. Oh, perhaps the time has come for more desperate measures. Oh, great. Important that motherfucker has an asterisk. Oh, what the fucking job is he gonna have? No way! It can talk! Please! Please don't hurt Truff! Truff is a monster, yes! But not a bad one! I'm sorry. You just surprised us, that's all. I never heard of talking monsters. Me either! Truff doesn't hurt humans, so please don't hurt Truff. Don't worry, we won't. So, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to hear Truff's story? Oh, thank you! Oh, Truff is looking for someone. Someone who can cut tall grass. Uh... What do you mean exactly? A truff dropped a ring. <laughs> a precious, sparkly, shiny ring. <laughs> truff has searched and searched, but <laughs> nothing. Aye, the grass will definitely get in the way of that. Yeah, talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. So you need someone to cut the grass so you can find this ring? Yes! Someone with a weapon like yours! Yes! You could do it! Sure, I guess we could, but... You... you will help Truff? Oh, thank you! Thank you! Truff has asked so many humans to help, but they all ran away. You are the only ones who have listened. Aye, well, they were probably just a wee bit shocked, that's all. But like we said, uh, talking monsters aren't exactly common. Well, anyway, we know you're not a bad monster now. Right, let's get mowing. Where do you think we should start? Ooh, truff. Mitch, truff is disgusting. <laughs> Don't mean to be mean to the poor guy. But... Hey, hey, hey. Where's your ring, Truff? It's probably gonna be important later or something. I don't know why he'd get his own custom just for this shit. Is this your ring, Truff? Oh! Yes! That's it! That's it! Humans found it! Oh, thank goodness! I'm not so sure it'll fit you, though. Oh! Oh, it's not Truff's! <laughs> it's for Truff's friend! Truff's friend, uh, <gasps> human! What? You have a human friend? Yes, yes! <laughs> he rescued Truff, then Truff and he became friends! Best friends! <laughs> He's the one who taught Truff how to 
speak. So that's how you learned, huh? Nice. Well, don't go dropping the ring again, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Stop! Wait! What's the matter? They followed! Who did? Monsters? Yes! Monsters who want the ring, who love its shiny, shiny, shiny golden glow! They chased Truff. That's why Truff dropped the ring! Sounds like someone needs to teach this lot a lesson. But Truff can't fight! Humans can, though. <laughs> Humans can fight them for me, yes! Come on, <laughs> let's sneak up on them. <laughs> uh, sure, I guess. Let's do it. Thanks for teaching me things I already know, Tro. <laughs> You're such a great top. help. <laughs> oh, did you underestimate us? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not a problem, Truff. You still have your ring, right? Yes, yes, Truff is never going to lose it again. But you'll give it to your friend when you find them, right? Yes, of course, of course, of course. Speaking of which, you never told us the whole story of how you met. Oh, Truff was hungry. So hungry, Truff thought he would die. Then a human came, gave Truff food. Mm. It was so delicious, and it saved Truff's life. The human told Truff so much about his kind, about cooking. And then, one day, he said it. You're my friend, Truff. <sighs> then he left, but he forgot his ring. So Truff decided to take it back to him. <clears throat> Wait, do you know anything about this person? His name... anything? Truff's friend's name is Mitch. <laughs> Mitch is something called a traveling chef. And Truff remembers his face very well. <laughs> if Truff sees his friend's face, he will know him right away. <laughs> so, you're on a journey, but you don't know where you're headed, huh? <laughs> I sometimes feel that way too. Well, good luck. I hope you find your friend. Thank you. Truff hopes so as well. Be careful out there, humans. Alright, Truff took up a lot of our time, so did the story cutscene, so I'm gonna end that one there. We'll do this quest on the next one. Talk to you guys later.